just taking back a step, this, this race to making smaller circuitry or more circuitry, this all comes from the man himself, one of the three founders of Intel. This is Charles Moore as well, whose Moore's law was we can put twice as much capacity onto a chip every couple of years, wasn't it? Yeah, and what's happened is that Intel sort of fell behind that curve while others were, were yeah, pushing you, you ahead. To be slightly yeah. off there. Yeah. Well, they, they've reinvented that concept yeah. in a negative way yeah. in recent years. <laughs> well, they're, they're trying to sort of sp uh, sort of catch up and leapfrog uh, yeah, this yeah. Moore's law uh, to this point. Now, their roadmap is highly ambitious, and effectively, it's to get to a 1.8 mil uh, 1.8 nanometer chip in 2025. That would then put, it, if if achieved, would then put it on par with Samsung and with TSMC, the current market leaders. And I think that's that's pretty key. So there are certainly promising signs. There are big amb ambitions. And I think the cost cutting that's gone on, the return to profit in the quarter is very positive. And investors at this point seem to be back in Pat Gelsinger's moves. We saw the big after hours move up around 7%. Intel shares are up uh, around 30% this year. I was going to say, they're not so cheap that, stock, are they? No. I that, mean, when we were talking... A couple of days ago, I th what was the one we were talking about that was trading at 30 times forward? It was, it was like a Google, I think it was. Yeah. This one trades at 31 times forward. So it's not, it's not massive. I know that NVIDIA is up here, you know, crazy mm. price, maybe, but maybe just fine. But this one's not a cheap stock. It's not a 18, 15 times growth stock, is it? But this does seem to be sort of, a, and I think that comes down to a, a slight bit of renewed optimism yeah. around Intel. I think on a few fronts, certainly the fact that they are bringing out uh, AI chips now to compete and GPUs to compete with NVIDIA. That is in the pipeline. That is very near term. The fact that they have a clear roadmap to how they want to compete with the manufacturers on that foundry side as well. Uh, and one of the interesting things the CEO said was in, in the world of chips, if we have foundry, we can be part of AI chips because we're going to make them. We can be part of GPUs because we're going to make them. And that's part of, I think, of the strategy going forward. Key here, and it always has been, is execution. Can yeah. Pat Gelsinger execute on what is a very, very ambitious roadmap, which is going to take billions of dollars of investment? Uh, right now, it seems investors have a lot of patience for that um, strategy, and uh, they seem to be quite optimistic about the future.